This box has the iPhone 12 Pro Max inside. That phone has the largest screen ever found on an iPhone. And we're gonna open the box up. Join me, join me, come on. Yeah, you. All right, let's do it. Be quiet, it's gonna take off the plastic part. That's why it's the, ready? Wow, this this is a this is a, a chunky boy box. Not really, it's actually very slender. In fact, here is the box for the iPhone 12 Pro. You can definitely see it's a bigger box. Also, for reference, this is the box that the iPhone 12 Mini comes in. <laughs> it's ridiculously small. It's so small. This is amazing. Now, one of the reasons these boxes are slender is uh, there's uh, some things that Apple is not including in the box anymore, which we'll, we'll talk about in a second. So let's quit talking about boxes and let's open this puppy up. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, open. Wow, okay. So this is the gold model of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Looks very good. Here, let's take the phone out. We have the Design by Apple in California paper envelope thing here, which includes, let's see what we got here, a SIM card tool. I also have the before using iPhone instructions. We have one Apple sticker versus the, the two that we used to be getting. Um, here's everything that comes in the box. But let's talk about this cable here. If you ever owned an iPhone before, unless it was an 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max from last year, then your phone came with this, a five watt charger with a USB-A port and it came with a lightning cable that would plug into that port. Now this charger and your old cable will be able to uh, power up this phone just fine. But this cable has USB-C and will be able to power up this phone even faster. The downside is USB-C, yeah, it doesn't fit in this thing. So either, either you either need um, something that has USB-C on it, like maybe your computer does. Um, and even that you might not get the full speed of this or you need to go buy like a separate wall, wall charger and Apple sells one for $19, so I'll leave it at that. But that being said, I'm sure there's some pretty good ones on Amazon as well, though be careful. If you're here to see me open this box, and we did the boxing, but let's get to the fun part, the phone. Okay, so something with this, uh, with the stainless steel sides that are polished on these phones. Um, and to me, the gold, it almost reminds me of when C-3PO is polished in Star Wars. He gets that, like, that nice sheen. That's what it looks like to me, and uh, it looks amazing. I'm sure it's gonna pick up, like it already has a fingerprint for me pulling it out of the box, but uh, God, this looks amazing. This looks good. So uh, this paper has been on all the iPhones this year that comes out of the box. I'll put it right there. What's cool about this paper is it has little um, logos or little indicators of what the buttons do. So you have like the silencer, plus and minus volume, power, little lightning port at the bottom there. So let's go ahead and take this off. So let's be quiet so we can hear any fun sounds it makes. So. It doesn't make a lot of sound, but kind of satisfying. Wow. This is, <laughs> this is a big phone. Um, now I don't have an 11 Pro Max to compare to, but I do have an iPhone 10s Max and you can see Size-wise, it's not much bigger. It's not much taller. Um, Width-wise, it feels exact same width, maybe just a hair taller here. They feel about the same thickness. Perhaps the iPhone XS Max feels a tad thicker, though it feels like the camera bump might be a little bit more present. I don't know. Oh man, but this, I don't, I'm not a big gold phone person, but this looks pretty slick, I gotta admit. All right, so um, let's take a look at a couple, few more phones here. I'm gonna put this off to the side for now. And here is the, so we got the 12 Pro Max here. iPhone 12 Pro Ma non Max here, just the, the regs. So here is the uh, 12, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max. And we gotta put this guy in here. So here is that as well. This is your 2020 iPhone 12. Family, we got the 12 mini, the 12, the 12 pro and the 12 pro max, 
All of them have the same A14 processor. All of them support the same bands of 5G. All of them have the same ceramic shield screen. Um, what else? All of them are have squared off sides. The cameras on the 12 mini and 12 are also on the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. But the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max have a telephoto camera and the 12 Pro Max has another neat thing. The main camera on the 12 Pro Max has a new sensor. It's the only phone out of the four that has it. It's larger, also stabilization. The sensor stabilized. So if your hands wiggle or something, the sensor moves. Now, previously the phone has had optical stabilization for the lens uh, and that's what's different. Also the telephoto camera on here is a little bit longer. So on the 12 Pro Max, I can get 2.5 times optical zoom versus two times optical zoom on the 12 Pro. So I'm really excited to test the cameras out to see if there is some noticeable differences or um, the way it performs, especially in low light and with the zooming. Um, but to round it out, we also can't forget this guy. This is the iPhone SE. So this is your full 2020 lineup of phones from Apple. Um, if we don't include the 11 and the 10R, which is also sold by Apple, but it's pretty impressive. All right, let's put these phones here. Um, so two things, let's turn on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, ready? There we go, you got a nice little Apple logo. Put it this way, give this a nice clean. Wow, how dirty these screens get so quickly, huh? You need to make a ceramic dirt shield screen. All right, so you, wow, that is a massive screen. So here is the screen of my iPhone 10s Max, and here is the screen of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The 10s Max has a 6.5 inch screen. The 12 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch screen. If you're looking for a big screen, the iPhone 12 Pro Max definitely, definitely deserves your consideration. So one more thing I wanna look at real quick is like all the iPhone 12s this year, the 12 Pro Max supports MagSafe. So we have a MagSafe case here. This is a leather case for the 12 Pro Max. Ah. Get out of the box. Box. All right, let's put this on here. Oh, by the way, you can see the little MagSafe ring in the back of the case here. Oh, let's put this in, see what this looks like. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. And uh, boy. I mean, I like, I don't, I'm not a big case person, but this, this is a nice case, yeah. I don't know. And it kind of lifts the screen off the surface so you're not always having that interact, which will probably help. But yeah, the cool thing is you can keep the case on and if you have a MagSafe charger, which you're gonna have to pay for, that would attach and wirelessly charge your phone um, up to 15 watts. Again, if you have the 20 watt power brick, that's pretty cool. This has been my unboxing of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. However, you are lucky because today, because of space, time, situations, and deadlines, you could actually see my in-depth review and get to know what I think of using this phone past unboxing. I don't even know that yet, and you can experience that right now. If you're watching this video, you can just click on the next video. It should probably be the review for this, or you can actually read my in-depth review on CNET.com. But you know what? Before you go, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of this iPhone 12 Pro Max? What do you think of the larger screen? What do you think of the shiny sides? Um, are you excited about these cameras? Throw your thoughts in the comments.